Hi there, and welcome back to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, this time I'm going to play as Billy, obviously. Um, uh, Billy was my favorite character from the, uh, the original season, uh, up until Tommy came around. Um, then he was obviously relegated back to second favorite. Um, I, don't, I, I can't remember where I heard this, uh, but I, I've, I heard or read somewhere uh, since last time I recorded I recorded this um, but um, somebody was saying how uh, Billy is generally the best character in the game overall um, I think it was due to the fact of you know his uh, his weapon move and how you know the number of hits he, he gets off on the enemies it went went on, on more but I'm not sure about that yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a while since I record, since I did my last recording. Um, it was like a few months ago, actually. I don't, I don't know why I waited so long, but you know, uh, I, I thought about redoing those recordings and updating them because, I mean, um, back when I did those, uh, Power Rangers RPM was still on the air. And since then, since my last recording, it's actually been, it's actually ended. Um, so. Um, so, so some some of those videos I did were actually, I guess you could say they're actually kind of out of out of date. But um, I, I guess I'll just leave them as they are. Though. Um, yeah, they're, they're actually uh, re-airing the original season now on ABC on Saturdays. Um, I caught an episode of it you know, not too long ago. Yeah, just just to. Just for nostalgia purposes, if any, if anything, if, if nothing else, rather. Um, it brought back a lot of memories from, from when I was a kid. Um, the, the only, the only thing I didn't like about it was the fact it was some of the the updates they they did to it. Um, I I could do without some of the Adam West um, sound effect pop ups. Uh, you know, where they like when you punch somebody, it goes pow and all that. Um, I could do without that, but you know, I'm not in charge of it. But anyway, uh, that monster you just saw was, I, I believe, the Dark war Warrior. Um, for some reason, I've always I've always called him the Dark Knight, but I th I believe I was wrong about that. It's, it's actually the Dark war Warrior. Um, if I remember, this was that that was actually another training orient oriented episode. I believe in that episode, uh, her uncle was kidnapped by Rita, and basically they obviously had a rescue. Uh, I believe that was the plot of the episode. Um, yeah, these uh, barrels have come back, and they're still, I mean, they're not really a danger, they're just annoying. And that's the thing, I mean, they're just annoying, nothing else. I mean, they're, it's not like they're hard to dodge or anything. Yeah, this is the this is the last um, uh, uh, foot level. Um, after this, you basically fight uh, two. You fight in the uh, Megazord. So, um, yeah, there's only two levels left after this. I mean, neither one are really that difficult. Um, well, I mean, they're not necessarily easy. Well, at least the last level, but it's nothing that can't be. Well, just walk right into that, didn't you? See, that's what I mean. I mean, the barrels aren't easy. I mean, they aren't hard to dodge. I mean, they're just more of a minor inconvenience, if anything. 
Yeah, it's like, um, I always wondered what happened to Bill, you know, when I was a kid, and I still, I still was a big fan of Power Rangers. Because, um, I, I, um, if I, re yeah, as I recall, uh, Billy ended up leaving Earth to go be with one of the, uh, alien Power Rangers on their home planet. Um, they never, they never really, they ne you never really find out what happened to him after that. Um, like, I mean, well, I think, I think he came back for an episode or two at some point, if I recall, but, oh, I mean, I'm talking about, like, ultimately, they never really tell you what happens to him or how, how they turned out with the relationship. I, I don't know, I just always wondered that as a kid. I mean, especially, I guess a lot of it was because he was, he was, like, one, one of my two favorite characters from the first season, but I guess it is what it is, though. You know, personally, I, I still kind of think that, though, about Power Rangers. Uh, I think the perfect time to, to end it was uh, back when uh, Power Rangers in Space ended. Um, I mean, if, if uh, Power Rangers RPM was supposed to be the, uh, the end of the series, it was it was pretty lackluster. Let's just say that. Um, I mean, at least with the end of uh, Power Rangers in space with a uh, countdown to destruction. I mean, at least that was, as far as Power Rangers goes, that was that was pretty good. Um, I mean, they they pretty much uh, got got rid of all the uh, the main villains up to that point, and pretty much every villain up to that point, you know, got closure and all that. So I think that I always thought that was the perfect time to end Power Rangers. I, I think, I'm pretty sure I went into this in one of my previous videos, but, yeah, I just, you know, I just, I just well, you know how it is. Um, kind of, a, kind of out of loss of words right there. Um, yeah, I don't think you can reach that that gun up there without using your special ability, so I, I don't even bother with it. There's really, really no need to. I mean, as I like, as I said, I mean, if, if you're gonna use it, use it against the balls. I mean, when it's most effective. Um, in which, and in which case, here we are. Yeah, the Dark Warrior is not that hard. Yeah, basically the the only part you have to worry about is when he uses the uh, the chain. Even, even though even then that's not really saying a whole lot though because I mean as you can see I mean as long as you keep keep hitting him um, he's not much of a threat um, at all. So like I said, I, I, I if I had to say. As far as like uh, the foot stages go, I, I would probably say the gnarly gnome is, is, is the hardest of the bosses. Um, but overall, the last boss, obviously, I would say it would be the most difficult. Um, it for some reason it, it seems like it always takes me multiple tries to, to be able to be, uh, to beat him, like two or three tries. I don't know. It's like the one boss. I suck. He's probably the one boss I suck the most. Of. Um, as you'll as you'll see uh, when we get to that point. And there we have it. Dark Warriors defeated, and now we move on to the Megazords. So, uh, see you guys next time.